Welcome to our deep dive into the most groundbreaking AI developments of 2025. This year has been a whirlwind of innovation, with artificial intelligence making leaps that were once the stuff of science fiction. From law enforcement agencies employing AI to maintain public order, to tech giants unveiling models that redefine what's possible, the AI landscape is evolving at an unprecedented pace. In this video, we'll explore three monumental AI advancements that are shaping our world. First, we'll examine how China is integrating AI into its policing strategies, raising questions about surveillance surveillance, and civil liberties. Next, we'll delve into Meta's release of its colossal 2 trillion parameter El Llama model, a game changer in the realm of language processing. Lastly, we'll uncover how Microsoft stumbled upon an extraordinarily efficient AI model, turning an unexpected discovery into a significant breakthrough. These stories aren't just headlines, they're glimpses into a future where AI plays an integral role in our daily lives. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a professional in the field, or simply curious about where AI is headed, this video will provide insights into the technologies that are set to redefine our society. So, let's embark on this journey through the cutting-edge world of artificial intelligence. Let's start with what might be the most controversial and eye-opening development, Meta's release of a 2 trillion parameter version of El Llama, the large language model Meta AI. To put that number into perspective, it's more than 15 times larger than GPT-4 and pushes the boundaries of what was once thought computationally possible. But this isn't just about size. This model represents a major shift in how language models are trained, fine-tuned, and deployed for real-world applications. The new Elama model has been designed to handle an unprecedented diversity of tasks across languages, disciplines, and reasoning challenges. It can translate obscure dialects, solve complex mathematical problems, generate creative writing with emotional nuance, and even simulate human-like dialogue with surprising depth. More impressively, Meta has reportedly trained it on a new mixture of curated internet data, academic journals, high-quality code bases, and real-time sensor data. This gives the model not only broad linguistic understanding, but also scientific, technical, and even real-world contextual awareness. One of the most fascinating breakthroughs is how Llama 2T, as it's being called informally, manages efficiency at scale. Traditionally, increasing parameters leads to steep computational costs, but Meta introduced a new sparse activation method that allows only a portion of the model to activate per query. This means it performs like a trillion parameter model when needed, but remains resource efficient when dealing with simpler requests. It's like having a fleet of specialized experts available, but only calling on the exact ones required for the task. The implications here are massive. For the first time, we may be looking at a single foundational model capable of powering everything from personal assistance to enterprise automation, real-time data analysis, and AI tutoring systems. Meta has hinted at opening up access to select research partners and possibly releasing a scaled-down version to the open-source community, continuing its tradition of El Llama openness. However, the scale and capabilities of this system also raise ethical and safety concerns. How do we ensure such powerful AI doesn't reinforce bias, spread misinformation, or manipulate opinion? Meta says it has implemented strong safety layers and reinforcement learning from human feedback, but the true test will be in how this model is adopted, and by whom. Next, we turn to one of the most staggering feats in AI scale and capability. Microsoft, a titan in the AI race, has made an accidental breakthrough that could fundamentally change how we build and use AI models. While experimenting with model alignment techniques for a routine research project, Microsoft's AI team stumbled upon a smaller language model that, surprisingly, began outperforming much larger models on a range of complex tasks – reasoning, coding, math, and even open domain question answering. The model, dubbed internally as Phi-3, was trained using a method called curriculum learning, where it first learns simple concepts and gradually builds up to more complex reasoning. But what made this case unique is the simplicity of the dataset and the size of the model, just 3.8 billion parameters, significantly smaller than the behemoths released by OpenAI or Meta. Yet, Phi-3 performed at levels close to GPT-3.5 and sometimes even rivaled GPT-4 on certain benchmarks, particularly in math, logic, and factual accuracy. This raises a groundbreaking possibility that smarter training strategies may be more important than raw scale. Instead of endlessly inflating models and increasing compute costs, developers might achieve competitive competitive or even superior results by focusing on how and what the model is taught. Microsoft's discovery challenges the current paradigm and hints at a future where lightweight, efficient AI models could power everything from edge devices to smartphones without relying on massive cloud infrastructure. Beyond performance, Phi-3's implications for AI democratization are enormous. Smaller models that match or exceed the intelligence of their massive counterparts open the door for widespread, affordable, and more private deployment. 
Imagine personal AI assistants that don't need to constantly ping the cloud, healthcare models that run locally on secure systems, or even education tools in low bandwidth environments. Microsoft has already hinted at integrating Phi 3 into products like GitHub Copilot and Office, allowing more intelligent features without compromising speed or user privacy. What's more, the team behind Phi 3 is releasing parts of the model and training methodology as open source, encouraging researchers and developers worldwide to explore, refine, and extend this new approach. This collaborative stance could spark a new era of innovation, where the AI arms race isn't just about size and power, but about efficiency, access, and impact. All of this points to a future where AI development might become more sustainable, more inclusive, and more targeted toward real human needs. While giants like Meta and OpenAI continue to push the upper limits of what's technically possible, Microsoft's accidental discovery reminds us that sometimes, smaller, smarter, and simpler might just win the race. This discovery also fuels a growing conversation in the AI community, should the focus shift from massive general-purpose models to smaller specialized ones. With Phi 3's performance, Microsoft has demonstrated that targeted training, especially using human-curated content and gradual learning, can yield models that not only perform well, but are also more interpretable and controllable. This could mark a strategic shift away from brute force scaling and toward intelligent, modular AI systems that can be adapted for specific industries or use cases. Moreover, there are significant environmental benefits to this approach. Large models like GPT-4 and LLAMA-2T consume vast amounts of energy during training and deployment. Phi-3 and similar efficient models offer a path toward greener AI with dramatically lower energy requirements and infrastructure demands. As concerns about AI's carbon footprint grow, models like Phi-3 present a sustainable alternative without sacrificing performance. Finally, there's a philosophical layer to all of this. In a field obsessed with scale and raw capability, Phi 3 is a reminder that elegance and simplicity often lead to the most profound breakthroughs. It's the AI equivalent of finding a powerful truth in a small poem rather than a sprawling novel. In a way, it reflects how intelligence works in humans too, learning step by step from simple to complex rather than being overwhelmed with everything at once. Microsoft's accidental model may be a technological revelation, but it's also a signal to the entire AI world. It's time to rethink what intelligence really looks like. The final story might be the most unexpected, and arguably, the most fascinating. China's deployment of AI-driven law enforcement systems. In recent years, China has heavily invested in surveillance technology, but in 2025, it took things to a whole new level. These AI agents are not just cameras with facial recognition. They're autonomous decision-makers capable of identifying threats, predicting crimes, and directing human officers in real time. According to reports, these AI agents are integrated into a vast surveillance network that combines real-time video feeds, biometric data, and behavioral analysis. They're able to recognize suspicious patterns, like like loitering in sensitive zones or individuals deviating from routine behavior. The goal is to stop crimes before they happen, but the implications go far beyond public safety. Critics argue that this system creates a digital authoritarianism where privacy is virtually non-existent. Even minor infractions can trigger investigations. What's more concerning is the lack of transparency. Citizens often have no idea they're being flagged or watched by an algorithm. It's the kind of control that once belonged in dystopian fiction, now playing out in real cities across China. Still, supporters highlight its effectiveness. Crime rates in pilot cities have reportedly dropped, and response times have improved drastically. In an age where governments are constantly seeking efficiency, China's AI police may be a blueprint for others to follow, or a warning sign of how far is too far. The real question is, can society strike a balance between security and freedom in an AI-powered world? As we wrap up, it's clear that we're entering a new chapter in the AI revolution, one not just defined by scale, but by strategy, surprise, and staggering potential. From Google's ambitious Project Astra, to Meta's 2 trillion parameter El Llama, and Microsoft's unexpectedly brilliant Phi 3, we're witnessing breakthroughs that are reshaping how we think about intelligence, software, and the future of human-computer interaction. These aren't just technical milestones, they're signals of a broader shift. AI is no longer confined to research labs or massive data centers. It's becoming more personalized, more integrated, and more adaptable to the real world. Whether it's improving accessibility, automating complex workflows, or creating new forms of creativity and problem solving, these new developments are bringing us closer to a world where AI works with us, not just for us. But with great power comes great responsibility. As these models grow more powerful and accessible, we must ask critical questions about safety, bias, transparency, and ethical deployment. Who controls these models? How are they trained? And how do we ensure that AI remains a force for good? The future will depend not just on innovation, but on intention, on building with wisdom, not just ambition. One thing is certain, the pace of change isn't slowing down. If anything, we're accelerating into a world where every month brings paradigm-shifting announcements. That's why staying informed, curious, and engaged 
engaged is more important than ever. If you're excited about what AI can do, but also cautious about where it's going, you're not alone. This channel is here to help you navigate it all. So if you found this video insightful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because we're just getting started. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on which development you think will have the biggest impact. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.